G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna go out and check out the Claw at USF. It's in Tampa, Florida. It's designed by Run Pudron, a really well-known designer on GS Pro. This course does have the driving range. We're gonna go into the match settings, all of our standard settings, and we're gonna play the first, sixth, eighth, 12th, and 18th. But first, I'm gonna to head to the range just to show you what the range looks like. Guys, if you haven't done so already, please do hit that subscribe button. We are sitting at 78% of the people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So I would really appreciate if you're watching this and you aren't subscribed, just click hit that subscribe button. It does help out the channel. Welcome out to the claw at USF. We're on the driving range and it looks like we are actually hitting next to someone. And he's hitting a driver out there. That's pretty cool. I haven't seen anything like that on any of the driving ranges on GS Pro. So it's cool that they actually have someone else on the range next to you. Now, I think we could have picked a better bay. Generally, when there's one person on the range, I just head to the opposite side of the range. So it's a bit weird that we're hitting right next to them. But maybe it's our friend. We'll do a spin around. They've got their clubs there. This looks really cool. Oh, there's two people on the range. And they're twins, it looks like. So there you go. We're right in between. They're synchronized up as well. That is really cool. I do like seeing things like that. It is, it's fun. But the range just looks like a standard driving range. Let's head out to the first tee. Okay, so we're on the first tee at the Claw at USF. I have never played this course, but it does look pretty cool. The first hole is a par four, 420 yards, and this is narrow. I mean, we're going to have to hit some accurate drives today, it looks like. Don't draw, stay in the fairway. Okay, it's not too bad as long as that tree doesn't block us. No, it isn't, that's fine, that's just in the rough. And that's gonna leave 123 out of the rough on the first hole. And I mean, this is just gonna be a nice, smooth gap wedge. Be good, come on. Just go in the hole. Just go in the hole. What a shot. We'll take that on the first, and that's going to be an easy birdie. On to the sixth hole, par five. Look at this. We're get, definitely going to do a flyover because what we have is a massive, what looks like a marsh, and um, this is all about how much do you want to bite off to leave yourself a shorter shot in on this par five. So it's quite a short par five. The more you cut off, the shorter shot you're going to have in, obviously. However, it's a bit more of a risk. It does have us aiming pretty straight. 278 to there. Let's do, let's zoom into that point. So that looks pretty safe to me. I reckon I can easily carry it to there. So as long as I hit a decent drive, we should be good. Okay, that should be just fine. Didn't strike it great, but sit in the fairway for me. Sit, 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 sit. Just gonna roll into the rough, typical. And that's gonna leave 192. We almost blocked ourselves out. 192, gonna have to hit a bit of a fade because it's gonna come out left. So I probably wanna land this about 182. So if I aim there, try and hit a little bit of a fade. 182, let's hit a six iron because we are in the rough. So I'm just gonna hit a stock six iron fade and this should be perfect. Oh, I've overcut it. Didn't hit it good enough either. Okay. I definitely didn't hit that good enough. I must have hit it a little bit heavy. That's going to leave a bunker shot. 25 yards. It's going to come out left as well. And I'm on a massive upslope, so it's going to play a little bit further. So if I try and carry this about 30... Let's go 35 yards as a, as a bunker shot, as a carry. Uh, that should be pretty good. 35 yards should land right next to the hole and just spin. Pretty good. I will take that. Lovely. On to the eighth hole. It's a par three, 230 yards. Oh, and by the way, there's a massive tree in your way. I mean, could they make it a little bit harder? 2.30 to the pin then. We do have a bit of a backstop, which is good. Let's play a little draw with a four iron. We'll try and squeeze out a bit of distance and I will put it on a tee. So I'll play a nice tight 
Tommy Fleetwood draw. I love how he hits his long irons. And we'll play a, a nice tight draw. Try and land this at about 220. Oh, I towed it. Not going to get there. Just towed it. I mean, look, it was a big ask to get it all the way back there. For me, anyway, with a four iron. And that's going to come all the way back, isn't it? Sit on the green. Stop, stop, stop. Just in the fringe. But I'm going to putt that, I think. That'll be fun. So we've got 18 yards, so 54 feet. And we're massively uphill. So 78 feet as a feel. Let's play it 80 feet as a feel, then. Probably didn't hit that hard enough. Go. Actually, that's pretty good for distance. I'll take that. I mean, really good horizontal launch angle. Went in the gimme circle, so you got to take it. On to the 12th hole. It's a par 3, 170 yards. This is a bit more reasonable for a par 3. Small green, though. 170. 162. So I'm just going to hit an 8 iron, and that should be perfect. Nice little baby draw. Oh, I thinned it. Oh, and it's fading. Okay, that was odd. Not the best shot. We've got a chip, and we can definitely chip this close. It's going to come out right, but then it's going to feed left once it hits the actual green. That should be perfect. Feed left now. Oh! Really happy with that shot. Going to be a nice, easy par. And that takes us to the 18th 400 yard par four. This is a tight course. It's definitely not an easy course, especially if you don't hit it straight. Healed it. Ah, oh, it's cutting as well. No. Kick left. That's going to leave. Oh, that's fine. 100 yards in. Let's have a look at the actual green. 100 yards out of the rough, so it's going to take a bit of spin off, which is annoying. Let's just play a nice, smooth sand wedge, and that should be perfect for distance. Get left. Oh, it's fading again. Okay, it's not bad. It's a pretty good shot from there, considering I was in the rough. That's why you need to hit the fairway so you can really spin those wedges and get it close. 19 feet, massive left to right break. Let's end with a hold putt. Come on. Go in the hole. Oh, I just played a bit too much break. I mean, it was a fantastic putt. Again, horizontal launch angle was spot on. All right, guys, that is the claw at USF. Really fun course. Just make sure you're hitting it straight when you play this course. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did let me know any comments or questions, let me know down below and I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.